All right. Basically, we're, we're recording right now, so okay. you're, you're live. Okay. Uh, my name is Shannon Sunshine King. My collection is of sunshines. I have a very wide variety of different kinds of sunshines. Most are either wall ornaments or something hanging, wind chimes, things like that. Um, my collection started when I was born. My middle name was inspired by my mom. Um, she kind of carried it on from a young age of her childhood, a nickname that she had. She gave it to me, and I kind of carried on that tradition. Um, I have, over the years, received various things, usually for birthdays and for Christmas, but a lot of my collection is self just, I do like sunshines. I do like to decorate my house with them. Um, I'm not too picky with my collection. A lot of what I have it has a smile of some or a face of some sort. Um, I, I am a little picky on what the face looks like, and there are a lot of artists out there that make funny looking faces on suns. And I am a little bit discriminatory when it when it comes to that, but um, a lot of it is just personal preference. When I go out and buy a sunshine, I usually like it to be the basic orange, yellow, and red. Um, I have uh, I don't know. Um, I actually went and got a tattoo of the sunshine. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, it's uh, really beautiful. I spent a lot of money on it and made sure it was exactly what I wanted. I actually designed it myself. So that was something special for me to keep with me all the time. Um, I do, do you consider yourself like a collector of sorts, or is it, or is it just sort of a passion that you've... It, well, collector, not really, because it's not any specific specific kind of sun or specifically wall hung suns or like a lot of my collection are the outdoor suns that I put on my fence but um, I do like those so I would say that I'm a collector of those specific suns but my collection is just anything sunshine you know jewelry or wind chimes or kites or just anything sunshine so yes and no kind of kind of, kind of both um, did, did you grow up with this feeling of sunshine as a nickname, sort of focusing your ideas on what, what appeals to you, or, or well, how did you discover it? When I was in preschool, um, my mom enrolled me with the nickname of Sunshine. That's what they called me, and I, I didn't go by Shannon. And then I went to preschool, and I went by Shannon, and it was kind of under wraps for my elementary years, but, you know, every once in a while a kid would find out, oh, your middle name is Sunshine, and they <laughs> kind of tease me about it, so that's what kids do. So, for, for elementary school, it was kind of something I kept under wraps. I didn't want to share it with everyone, but um, I did a project in middle school, and it was, um, tell us about your name and how you feel about it, and what, how, why it was given to you, and I kind of I don't know, I, I took a different appreciation for it, because writing out the paper, I asked my mom how she came up with it, and it kind of has a story behind it, so I, I learned to appreciate it a lot more, probably how, about How did she tell you grade. the story? How, do you remember that kind of conversation when you well, discovered sunshine is your... Yeah, when I, when I talked to her and asked her why, um, she said that when she was in elementary school herself, she was in a class of... My name's Carmen, and there was five other Carmens. So to to make her stand out, I don't know if it was the teacher that gave her the nickname or a nickname she gave herself, but they called her Sunshine, and that carried with her. And when I was born, it was a big argument. My grandma was so against it, and how could you name her Sunshine? Don't you realize? And, my mom, being the little hippie she is, she just dug in her heels and said, no, this is my kid, this is what I'm going to name her. And my grandma, for the first years of my life, still kind of fought it. And, but to this day, you know, she, she now is just like, you know, you're right, and it does make you who you are. And 
it, it's a little more accepted, I guess. Yeah. My grandma's kind of taken it on, and she appreciates it now. You know, it, at first you kind of wonder why kids are named the way they are, and why would you name your kid? flower or you know apple or all those strange names out there but it does so, so you think it influenced your personality I do yeah I do I I feel like I'm a bright person I, I don't know I, I think it does change who I am and how I interact with people I like telling people my middle name is sunshine now yeah. how do people adults and things react when they hear Oh, your parents are hippies. <laughs> wow. You smoked a lot of good weed back then. <laughs> I always get that comment. Um, but I, I get the same genuine response of, oh, wow, you know, that's special. That's mm -hmm. very different. And I, because I think it is so special, whenever I hear of somebody else, being called Sunshine, I'm just like, oh, yeah. you're no Sunshine, yeah. what are you talking about? And I've heard it a couple times on like TV, they'll introduce somebody, their first name being Sunshine, and you're just like... A pretender. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, you're no Sunshine, what? <laughs> but it is, it's a very unique name, and it's not something you hear, and I think that that's something special about giving a child a name, you kind of form... That's the beginning form of their personality and who they're going to be. So yeah. it, it is special for me. And I, I, like I said, I like to collect them. And that's probably a big reason why is because it is so much of who I am. Yeah. yeah. Do you figure that your children are going to carry the sunshine? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I haven't really thought about children names per se, but I would want something just as special. Yeah. I would put a lot of thought behind it for that reason. Yeah. Well, I think it's 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 kind of a special feeling that you, your mother would actually put something so positive as a gift for you. I agree. I agree. Definitely does help me be a a brighter person, just more appreciative of life, and you know it is part of nature, and I'm very much into nature and. I love my California weather, too. Good. And I love the sunshine. The day without sunshine, you know. So, I, yeah, it's, it is very special, something that she handed yeah. down to me. And my dad just, you know, went along with the flow. He didn't <laughs> argue. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I would like to pass something similar down to my kids that yeah. kind of makes them stand out, make them a little unique. In, in terms of collecting, how do you... How do you feel about the stuff that you have? Do you do you value it in terms of? Is it, oh yeah. Do you have? There are there are very very many um, items in my collection that are special that I've received from grandparents or aunts and uncles. Yeah. Some that are no longer around. Well, I know I, I can appreciate the you know you have a uh, an investment of of the emotions in it, so the collection is really priceless That's in that respect. True. And I think it's, to my way of thinking, those parts are, are, are what really gives the collection value. It's not like whether it's gold or silver. It's what it means to you as a person. Yeah. 